this video we can talk a little bit about um about doctors and how i found found mine and if you're if you are going to be going to turkey um uh, how do you shop for a doctor because and I, I know i'm using that word very very loosely but that's what it's gonna feel like you're gonna feel like you're shopping literally shopping for a doctor because there are so many clinics that do this again remember that uh turkey is the bariatrix um capital of the world they have the highest numbers of bariatric surgeries happening they have the most skilled they have the most experienced doctors uh, and that also means that they have a lot a lot of clinics that offer this especially because um in recent in recent years uh, a lot of people from the eu and from you know around the world other parts of, of the world actually have africa i know i've seen a, a few people from south africa going in that have documented their 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 journey um so yeah that 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 is where people go to get bariatric surgery um they're also the ones who actually have balloons and all, like they have everything every everything in in bariatric health and and bariatric preventions or whatever they have they have it all and uh because there are many clinics you then have to do your due, due diligence you can't you can't go in and find oh you can't come in and watch this video and go like oh melissa had this so i'm gonna go have that no you have to make sure that you've done your due diligence that you have that you've got a good feeling in your a good gut feeling that the doctor and the clinic that you choose is the one that that is best for you um so when i was going through that um again like i said my journey started with me wanting to get a gastric balloon and um initially that's what i started looking at and uh, gastric balloon was offered in um, a lot of it was offered in in, in istanbul and not at and uh not at Talia, Antalya and not Antalya. Um so I had already even booked I had booked a time for um um for the balloon to be inserted. I had gotten a good price, I had gotten um a good uh, surgeon, uh, you know, going from the reviews from other people but also through my research looking at the one, the kind of balloon that we're going to put in, you know, the aftercare and, um, you know, the removal of the balloon because it was going to be a one-year balloon. Um, so I had chosen one and I had already made an appointment and then, and even bought tickets. And then uh, the problem came up when I realized, actually that's when I realized that I couldn't travel to Turkey from Denmark with a Kenyan passport. Um, if that had not happened, this gen would have looked completely different because I would have already gone and gotten the, the, the balloon and yeah, I would have had the balloon in me right now. <laughs> but I'm thankful that that happened. I'm, I'm thankful that there was that, you know, that there was that uh, bump on the road uh, because it allowed me to now, you know, consider other things. So I went into looking for balloons somewhere that was in Europe and I found the Czech Republic. I was able to book a clinic in the Czech Republic and also bought tickets to the Czech Republic. Um there are not so many there are not so many clinics in the Czech Republic that do bariatric surgeries, but there are some. Um and when you come from having done your research in somewhere like Turkey where there's a lot of uh, clinics and a lot of doctors and a lot of information, a lot of people have gone there. So you can you you're able to compare stories. You're able to con for, compare the the good, the bad, and the ugly because uh, you you need to look into that as well. You need to look at the ugly side and the bad side of the clinic that you're considering. Um, it was a bit challenging when I started looking into the Czech Republic because there wasn't that much. Um, because again, they don't do the amount of bariatric surgeries that Turkey does. Uh, so there was very limited information and because I was desperate, I was very, very desperate, I was I was desperate to make a change. Um, I I kind of booked, went on ahead and booked a, 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 a time and I made an appointment and also booked a flight to the to Prague. 
but thank god thank and that this is also what i'm what i mentioned in the last uh, video that it's important for you to be able to have people who are going to support you through this journey you, you really 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 should not do this alone you should not be doing this alone um you need the support you need the the um you need you need the you need you really do need the support uh you need someone who can help you process because it's this is a very it's a very lonely journey because uh you don't get to this point unless you're desperate you don't get to a point where you are you're actually contemplating these measures unless you really are desperate um and 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 feel like you know like you can't do anything um um i think i might let me just talk about why i felt desperate um I'm, i might have mentioned in some of the other videos when i was doing the cash balloon that the, the major problem for me was that um i had this weight that i needed to get off but my knees and my feet just hurt so much they hurt so much that the ones that that are actually paying the price for the weight because I carry most of my weight around here which means that puts a lot of extra pressure on my knees and my feet um and I and I and I know that I do not look overweight uh and the people who like people in my everyday life you know that that um know that they, they don't see it my doctor could not see it um because you know initially my gp could just say yeah you can do some diet or whatever but when i started getting into okay this is actually hurting you know my knees are hurting and and my my feet are hurting and we just we looked at my feet and um i had um um, um something called hail hail spore i'm gonna put it up here uh, you know the English word of it. I can't. I, don't, I can't remember what the English word of that is. And it's basically by the heel, right over there. There's a. I don't know if it's a muscle or what, that, but but it, it gets really painful from all the pressure, um, because when you stand again, um, that part gets a lot of a lot of the weight. The balls of your feet, the heels of your feet, get a lot of a lot of the weight. So there's a pressure point there there's a place there that gets so so um painful because it gets inflamed um and that happened on both my feet so this is something that i had actually been struggling with for over two years um and and it was getting unbearable you get to get to the point i couldn't work i couldn't have my whole eight hour shift um and as you know like i I'm, I'm a receptionist at a hotel, which um, makes, you know, <laughs> just because without saying that I stand a lot, um, standing most of the time for the eight hours, and, and by the time I was getting home, forget getting home, the, the, by the time that, you know, I hit the fifth hour there, I couldn't move from my position, like, like, it, I, I had to, like, limp like that to get from my position to go and get something to go. So my, my colleagues were really covering me there, you know, if they needed to run back and, and forth to get something because I just couldn't move, it was that bad. And I was feeling very frustrated because I, I really, really love my job and and uh, I wanted to perform, you know, at the fullest <laughs> and give it my all, but I was my body was just limiting me. That coupled with the fact that my knees also hurt like how they really really hurt um so after a shift like that when i got home i live up on the third floor it would take me a, a good 10 15 minutes to come up three three flights of stairs because of my feet because literally that's how much um my feet hurt um so i was getting very very desperate and getting you know in a very dark place and i'm also might also mention that it was a winter and uh, in the winter, uh, I don't have that much vitamin D. <laughs> uh, so, so you know, getting depressed is quite easy. Um, thankfully, I, I did not get to a place where I was depressed, but I was very, 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 very down. Very, I was down in dumps. Um, so I wanted a solution that would help me fix it as fast as possible, that would remedy this as fast as possible. And that's why I was like looking, you know, and I was, uh, and I was still very unsure about the fact I, I didn't want to do anything permanent i was scared about doing something permanent um because i again the idea had just started you know getting into my head so i very quickly 
um, we decided to do the the, the balloon, and uh, but um, then I talked to a very close friend of mine. Uh, she is a doctor, and she's actually a specialist in diabetes. And I talked to her about my situation, um, just thought to pass it through her, and uh, and you know she she really made me look at you know fast and forth she just asked me why are you not able to get the balloon in denmark and, and i was like well you know i had all the answers prepared <laughs> and i was like yeah well it's because there's only one private clinic that does a balloon here and um and then she asked me why do you think that is why doesn't the danish society health health sector offer the balloon if it was if it was as effective as they say why would they want to pour lots of money in having people get bypasses and having people pre-approved to get sleeves and all that if the if a balloon would just fix it? Um, and I just stopped in my tracks there. I was like, what? So I realized that I needed to do something different. Um, I had to go in, back in and, and do my research about the balloon, which I did. So I need to blow my nose. So... I realized that I need to go back in and do my research about the balloon, um, and which I actually did, which I did, and um, and got my answers. Now I'm not going to come in here. This is not a debate of balloon versus sleeve versus bypass. You know that's not what this is. I'm just saying. I'm just kind of trying to get you into my journey, so you're able to see how, you know how that went for me so when i looked into it i actually realized that the balloon was not something that i wanted to do um first and foremost because first and foremost because the um the the amount that i was going to pay to have the sleeve the 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 balloon done in prague was like 4,000 kroner short from getting a sleeve done. It's, it was that expensive in, in Prague. Uh, and then the fact that it wasn't... There was no guarantees. The thing with the balloon is that they can put it in you, but your body can reject the balloon. And once it does that, it can re reject the balloon like three days after the balloon has, has been put in. And then what? So I, I started really now thinking very long term. I started thinking, I want to set myself up for the most success. I want to set up myself for, you know, give myself a chance, a good fighting chance, a fair fighting chance. And actually, that's when I started researching the sleeve. Uh, because prior to that, I had not at all considered the sleeve. So I not researched it at all, at all, at all. Uh, just because it was a it's a permanent thing uh, but when i got into the research of the sleeve i actually realized that there's a reason why um doctors use it you know and they advise that you you get it instead of the balloon because it is sustainable it is it is what is able to help you uh, and if you are committed to it then it will work out for you it's the best it gives you a, a a good shot, you know, at controlling you know it gives you a good shot to to get over the to get over you know being overweight. <laughs> it helps you, really helps you. So when I started considering it I, I cancelled my, my appointment in Prague and uh, then just decided to throw myself into getting uh, a sleeve but of course, I must say that, you know, it's still also, because my, 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 my condition did not change. You know, I was still, take, you know, still suffering from my feet and my, my knees and my feet. Um, I was still doing that. So I talked to my doctor and, and, and scheduled a, a, like a full body, <clears throat> a full body, um, the blood works, everything. I wanted to be like scanned and searched and 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 <laughs> researched i want them to i wanted them to find everything that was would possibly have be wrong with me um before i started considering the the vsg 
and they did so and the results came back in that I was just like depleted of every vitamin that you possibly can be depleted of I was just uh, my D vitamins were just like non-existent I did not even have any like spare depots in my body nothing uh, the same goes for um, iron I didn't have any iron at all nothing um, those were the two major ones that I didn't even have any any de depots in my body nothing so my body was just working from a minus a negative <laughs> Is working from a negative and that's actually why my feet were in such trouble right that's one of the major reasons why my feet was in why it was uh, were in such trouble so got on the t uh, vitamin d you know a very accelerated heavy dose of that and iron as well and then some others um some other um, some other vitamins as well which I feel like has really, really helped, especially the, the D vitamin. And then now it is summer, so I'm getting a lot of the sun and all that. So it's it. So my feet are not as bad, um, but I still get the pain in my in my feet. Um, my knees, thank God, don't hurt as much. Actually, that's actually where I feel the biggest difference in my knees. My feet still hurt. They still do. I was at work yesterday after a four day break, and when I came back home my feet were just paining and I was like limping already so so it's not to say that it's gone but it's much much better um, um yeah because again the vitamin D is for the bones and and I think my bones are starting to get something <laughs> so so that's why I'm able to feel the difference um anyway so I started looking into going to to Turkey for the sleep um, and that's why I started doing my research with doctors in Turkey. Um, places that you can go to find this, the, the, the best place to find information on, on VSG surgery in Turkey, believe it or not, is TikTok. And prior to this, actually, I was not, I didn't use TikTok a lot. I didn't. But uh, a quick Google, Google search about, you know, VSG Turkey brought me videos of people on TikTok talking about the experience and that's how I ended up there and it sounds corny but that's where people put in a lot of content so go in there a lot of clinics are also on there um, go in there and do your research start your research from there if you do not know where to start from TikTok VSG surgery Turkey that's all you need to search and then do your research look at the clinics look at everybody who's gone there and documented their journey look at what they're saying the good and the bad because people there are just honest uh, you know they will say the good but they also say the bad um, because they're not influencers these are just people normal people like me and you that 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 have decided to make a change in their lives so they're honest they put their money where their mouth is and they will review the place to bits so start with tiktok uh, is what i would advise i think that's about it for this video i think like, i'm not able to multitask i was about to get i was supposed to be getting ready with you guys but i'm not able to do that so i need to get ready for work so thank you for watching this video um, um and i'm gonna do i'm gonna do small snippets like this of um of you know my process and my journey and where my head is at and uh in, you know include you in this journey because I felt like I needed that and I was able to find that with some people you know some place here and there but I'm just going to be, try to be as comprehensive as possible um, with you know how my journey has gone because I'm sure that this is gonna be helpful for someone okay yes so thank you for watching this video uh, as always um, kindly sus subscribe uh, leave a comment down there if you have any questions just write them down there i am going to reply to them um uh, tell a friend to tell a friend if you're considering this um, following me on this journey and uh, yeah.